Hey, welcome to the channel, Josh Gordon Music. Another Line 6 Podgo video. And we're going to look at the mics that uh, came with the new cab engine, that came with the 2.0 firmware update back on November 7th of 2023. So I've dialed up a Placator Dirty Amp. Um, it's the settings that I would typically use for a, you know, a nice hard rock lead tone. And I've chosen for the cabinet... A 412 Greenback 25, that's my favorite cab. And I've placed the mic right in the center and everything's down. The distance is, you know, one inch away, zero degree angle, no low cut, no high cut. So everything is kind of, I guess, you know, like if it was an EQ, everything's flat. All right, it's just to get the qualities of the mics. And I'm gonna tell you which ones I like the best and which ones I use for my presets, but we'll go through each mic and uh, have a listen. Okay, so let's start with the 57 Dynamic. It's an industry standard, the Shure SM57. And I do have my, my iPad here with the notes uh, from the manual, just so we can I can tell you which mic is which. So let's hear it. So nice and crisp, uh, clear pretty standard and I definitely have used this a lot in the past for presets definitely one of my favorite mics so the next one the 421 dynamic is a Sennheiser MD 421U so let's get that one up here and I have used this before as well so let's hear the qualities of this okay again it's very clear and that's what you're gonna find with these dynamics they're very clear. This one I find has a little more mid. Definitely, and I like mid, especially for rock, I like having a little mid punch. So definitely a good mic that I would use. Next one is the seven dynamic, the Shure SM7B. Now this one I don't use. Not a bad mic, but just I I've, don't think I have ever used it for a preset, but let's hear it. Well, again, the clarity is there. I find this one a little more nasally or hon honky, you know, quacky. Um, it seems to highlight a mid frequency that to my ears, I'm not really wanting, you know, but if you like it for whatever, I, I use it. And just I'll, I'll put a little sidebar in here. This is a powerful tool. This this section, this block, the, the cap block for tone shaping. Before you go ahead and start adding dirts, you know, drives, distortion, overdrive, whatever. You, I recommend first using the amp drive if you can. Now, if you're not making a two-channel amp, you know, like the Placator Dirty, you, you really can't get a clean out of it. But if you just want a rock, you know, a crunch and a, and a boosted crunch or something, like you don't want clean, um, use the drive, you know. Use this in, in conjunction with the cab block because you have all these options, like the positioning of the mic matters. The angle does matter. Let's let's hear this actually, if we change it from zero to 45. Okay, so you hear that it definitely makes a big difference. I mean, you lost some clarity on there, whatnot, but maybe that's some, uh, something you want for your tone. And then low low cuts and high cuts do do matter. They, they will make an effect. So using those two blocks the amp and the cab block and even the eq because for some of these ribbon mics you're going to hear that they're not they sound a little darker not not as high endy and and maybe not as clear you use that dedicated eq block to your advantage to bring back some of the the highs that you want right there with those three blocks you can get nice drives nice excellent tones and you can save yourself a block instead of just automatically slapping a distortion. Now, I like to, I like to use the amp drive and the distortion block together. I find that kind of gives me more of a sweeter drive spot, like closer to a real analog pedal. But that's just me. Anyways, let's continue. But again, don't ignore the power of these blocks for your tone. They matter. They really matter more so than 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 adding a drive. That's just my opinion. Okay, so the next mic, 906, is a great mic. I like it. Sennheiser E906. I have used it. Nice and clear. You know, I don't find it too different from the uh, the 57. Great mic. 
And then let's go to the next one, the 30 dynamic. The Hail Sound PR30. Okay, so right there, I noticed a volume boost. And I want to say maybe a little more harsh, trebly, shrill than I'd want. So probably not a mic I'd use. So out of the dynamics, my favorites would be definitely the 57 dynamic, the 421, and the 906. Any any three of those. And the 7 dynamic, not not terrible. So those would be my favorite of the of the dynamics. Let's hit the ribbon. I love ribbon mics. The 121 ribbon is the Royer R121. Okay, so right, so right off the bat, when I compare this to any of the dynamics, I like this. I like it better because I like the mid punch. I like the the emph the saturation that I feel or hear, and a little bit of the bass uh, getting emphasized. And I, I and it shave it seems to sh shave off some of the brashness, the harshness, the shrill. But it's still a little dark, right? So this is again where the EQ block would come in, and I would add I would add um, some treble frequencies to it, definitely. So let's go to the next one. Now, this is probably my favorite mic is the 160 ribbon, which is a Bayer Dynamic M160. And I probably use this the most for all my presets. So this would be my favorite mic. So that gives me a nice mid that I like. It's a little, not as dark as the, as the Royer. And, you know, it's not as bright as dynamic mics, but it's still bright enough. And again, use the EQ block. I can I can bring some of the, the treble frequencies that I want back. And the bass is nice sounding to me. Continuing on, we have the 4038 ribbon, which is a Coles 4038. Now, I find this to be very nice nice and warm dark uh and i find it's you know darker than the 160 ribbon probably a little darker as well than compared to the 121 ribbon but a good mic something i have used maybe here and there maybe i'll explore a little more but i always go to the 160 ribbon now the one ribbon i've never really used is the 84 ribbon so let's put that one on and that is an aea r84 <laughs> Now that's a nice sounding mic too. Again, it gives me, I love the mid, I love the bass. You just need to add a little more treble for me to, because I to make it a little more clear, but a great mic, great mic that I might consider using more. So out of the ribbons for sure, 160 ribbon, um, 4038 and 84 are great. And even the Royer, they're, they're all good. Um, so I don't want to say I wouldn't use any of them, but the one I would use over over any of them is the 160 ribbon. That would be my favorite. So let's finish it off with the last three, our condenser mics. So the 414 condenser is an AK, AKG C414 XLS. Okay, so that seems to me, kind of gives me the a little bit of uh in between a ribbon and a dynamic per se and a nice mic i mean just some clarity there i don't feel it's as warm i find the ribbon mics give me the warmth that i like because i really like warmth so maybe not as warm but still a great mic um one that i don't think i've ever used for a preset this one though the next one the 47 condenser FET, the Newman U47 FET. Now I have used this in a few recent presets lately. And I really like this mic and I'm gonna be using this more as well. Let's hear it. So yeah, these are great. That's a great mic for a rock tone. And it's, again, I find it it's nice in between to me, again, in between the brightness of a dynamic and the warmth of a ribbon. But I would definitely tweak it. I would feel I'd want a little more low, maybe a tad high, but really good, really good mic. I like it. And um, let's hear the 67, the last mic on the list. 
67 condenser is the Newman U67. <laughs> That's a great mic too. It's clear. It's got a good. I like the mid. The bass is good to me as well. I mean, I maybe I'll fatten it a little bit. Um, great mic. I think out of the three condensers, I still the forty-seven condenser FET would be my number one. Sixty-seven number two, and the four hundred one four would be my last choice. All good choices. So out of all these mics here, I don't think there's one. I'd say I'd never use, but if I if I had to pick, I'd probably say the seven dynamic or the thirty dynamic are the ones I would probably use the least because just maybe a little too shrill for me. Um, the thirty dynamic I found like wow, that was a big you know quite a noticeable volume increase. And I feel with those two mics, I would have to probably do a little tweaking to get back. Um, some of the frequencies I'm missing, but my favorite, if I had to pick, um, well, if I pick from each category, wow, I, I, it's hard for the dynamic to say, but it probably I would say, I want to say 57, but my, I'm kind of thinking that Sennheiser 421 dynamic, definitely the 160 ribbon and the 47 condenser FET would be my top three. Uh, I put the 57 back up there because it is it is classic. You can't you can't lose with any of these mics. They're great. So that's my walk. Well, we'll call it a walkthrough for the mics. And so, again, spend some time with this cabinet block. Dial in your amp. Come to the cabinet block. Do some further tweaking, and do this before you add drives. I find like to, to add a drive block should complement. You know, blend, make it blend in and complement, and and it make make your amp and cab block sound even better. But if you can, you know, you should be able to get a nice standalone sound between the amp, the cab block, and use that dedicated EQ block. Start with those three. But the mics here, you know, like we just went through, they're all good. Um, they all have certain qualities. So definitely keep in mind what type of music, or or the song that you, you're building up this whatever preset for and again go through each mic take your time you know listen to listen to what what you know the qualities and you know determine what's lacking what you like and what's lacking and if, if it's going to be too much tweaking to get to where you need to go or if it's like hey this is pretty good as it is and just a couple fine tune you know uh with with a uh, with an eq all right, so I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button, drop a comment below. And I want to thank all of you viewers, new, returning, the subscribers. This channel is growing because of all, all of your support, and I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.